It's Madden NFL 23, and tonight's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Los Angeles Rams coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Baltimore Ravens and the Los Angeles Rams. Everybody, alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Stadium. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now he's turned himself into a true dual threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now an option play on second down. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they were, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Following the fumble recovery, Stafford. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. Caught out left side by Robinson. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. 
Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what the second sentence of the coach's address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. From the gun, Jackson. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Second down and five. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone. First down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins from 17 yards out. And the Ravens are on the board first on the road here in L.A. And he knew he was going to take a shot in the pocket. He did, but he also found a way to get it into the end zone. And that has to ease the pain a little bit of the shot he took, didn't it? Being able to throw it into the end zone for a touchdown. Hey, hey. Justin Tucker for the extra point. Ravens lead at 7-0. Five plays there on that drive, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cobb. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Give them 19 there as the drive marches forward. That's his first catch of the game, and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And down to the 41. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Man open, it's cup. He's got it. And he's going to have a Rams first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. A 
The fake to Akers. Here's Stafford. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Throwing is Stafford. And that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. They'll run for it with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Rams' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So they only needed a couple of feet there on fourth down, but they got more than that, and then some as he takes this into the end zone. And I love your description right there, right? Fourth and short. They got that. No problem. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it. Finish it off in the end zone. Touchdown. Everyone goes away happy on that one. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. First play in the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now it's Jackson. That's into the hands of Crochet. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it brings up third and five now. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. They'll try to draw here with Dobbins. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. And that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Back deep, Brandon Powell. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. 
The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop the score. Second and goal, Jackson. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Leonard Floyd. And the Rams are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points are given away? It could cost them a ball game. But the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking. Come up with a few. First down, they'll start out with Akers. And he'll get this up past the 25. 50 yards rushing for him now to this point. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And he'll do a nice job here just to find his way back to the line of scrimmage. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Stafford. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. James Prochet deep for Baltimore. And this will be that all deep in his own territory. He coughs up the football. And they'll be inside the red zone with the ball at the 16-yard line. I don't know why, but it's always agonizing to me to see a guy make a mistake in this phase of the game because you can it's, it's all on him. All eyes there. He's got a chance to make a punt return, and instead, he ends up putting it on the carpet. Puts it on the carpet. The little rubber pellets shoot up. Never a good sign for a returner on this field turf surface. No, not at all. And a bunch of them go up when they're all trying to get to the football, don't they? So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now a play fake and it's Stafford. Complete. Jefferson the target. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. The second and seven with our score tied at seven. But they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three? And he's got it. That's cut for a win touchdown. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, that's in this situation down a couple scores late in the game this offense is staying out there on four here we go it's Jackson on fourth down and they're going to try the screen it's complete and getting this just shy of midfield they'll spot it at the 49 the time to pull out the stops is now and they convert there on fourth down 
Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From midfield now, here's Jackson. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 39. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll try and run right on the option. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. Option play and they'll hand to Dobbins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here, second and 11. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. We've seen this a few times in this game. That offensive line just, I don't know if you want to call it out physical, out tough, whatever you want to use. And what people do when that is happening, when they're getting dominated that way, they spread things out a little bit, make it more of a space game, and allow your skill position players to make a few plays out in open field. Take away the physical element, gives you a chance. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Throwing, Jackson. That one complete to Crochet. And he will be out of bounds well shy of the marker. So that's a turnover on downs. Great job defensively. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none. Yes, exactly right. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll go again here with Akers. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And defensively, Baltimore's in a dime look here on third. Stafford. And that is incomplete. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Prochet on the return. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Ravens, they'll take over. So Lamar Jackson in the offense. Down by two touchdowns. A little over a minute and a half remaining. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. 
Only three there on the screen at second down. Jackson trying to hustle his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Jackson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. And I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Stafford going to give this to Akers. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. self-inflicted wounds. They've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Play action. Now Jackson. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now he's forced out left. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here.
Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do before stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'll be an interesting tape to analyze, won't it? Because why did it work in the first quarter, but nothing in quarters two, three, and four? So we always talk about adjustments. You don't just wait till halftime. You do it series to series. They'll be working on that in preparation for their next game.